expansion of the Russian Blood Pact and the World Defense Treaty, but the World Defense. This is the. What did I call it? And Ethiopia started having some problem with it getting a big, a bit tense. When this kind of happens, when when a Somali rebellion happens, and it doesn't seem that bad, you may think, but it's just going to get worse from here. With Kid Gray forces rising up, and the idea is, no, well, why not? And then. Djibouti rises up to form a nation, as why not? And so on, now Ethiopia is in a civil war. With a pro-Somali creating group wanting Somaliland to be formed. Rise up, because they have nothing else to do. And as you can see, Ethiopia is just falling apart. Into a mess. Kind of situation. The Tigray forces establishing control over the lands they want. Now they're basically doing whatever. But at this point, forces and a pair rise up. And why don't I just make them all groups and have them fight with them? It's much easier just to have them like the Eritrea forces. And that's pretty much a few of them. At this time. Because now... It's a full-on war. Basically, support going to different regions by different groups, such as communists here. And then at this point, Sudan literally invades. Why would they invade, you may be wondering. There's what else is there for them to do, basically. And this place had a strong military until its economy started falling, interference by other countries, and so on. And Sudan saying that after this land, we're willing to go, with most of the groups accepting it. Complete turmoil. With this region just becoming super unstable and everything. Ceasefire talks begin, but to no avail. As many of these groups haven't come to an agreement on what is theirs, what's others, and so on. Moody has said, whatever I occupy is mine, so I agree with them. At this point, as you can tell, Kind of fell apart. With the central government surrendering specifically to the Somali forces, because why not? With these forces basically coming to an agreement on what is theirs. An agreement is formed on what's everyone's lands, including what's left of the central government. Let's look at the main regions from this partition as Somaliland, Somali, Djibouti, Eritrea, Tigray, that is Amhara, I don't know what this is, Ilgerda, and that's Ethiopia, basically, that doesn't even look right. With now different areas join different alliances, such as central government joining there, so did Somaliland. Somalia and um, Djibouti and these nations stay neutral, but with Ethiopia going ahead with a siege of those lands and nobody can attack them back because they're still in the alliance. With the siege being fixing their borders a bit, they still have a way to go. With Sudan deciding to pick this alliance because it favors it. With this alliance getting Djibouti, because why not? And Tigray. And let's see. 
Well, Chad basically falls into civil war at this point. Eventually, eventually the southern area of Chad declares independence. Into the Central African Republic, which looks much bigger than in our time. With the North then being there, they stay. A central part was the ones who wanted to join this team with that going to them. Now that team being, that country being too unstable for anyone to want. Now it's Nigeria, which favors with this team. They go to Central America, which favors them. South America is a bit of a story, but Panama, Costa Rica, as you can see. In this timeline, America made sure all the people nearby were their friends. Which is good now, but it gets a bit confusing here with Argentina and them wanting that team. And then these two countries, knowing they would be invaded by Brazil if they don't do anything, join Brazil's team. Can't beat them join them, I guess. I don't know. With Argentina annexing the Falklands and Britain being like, why? And they're like, okay, so. And then there, Avers with this team, because why not? With them getting Nigeria. And now Africa is pretty much neutral. With them joining one team. No man seeing India as their best protector along with Taiwan. Tibet, I mean. Taiwan doesn't exist, unfortunately. And then Thailand joins this team. Australia's like, yeah. New Zealand's like, whatever Australia does. Even though they could have united, but yeah. As you can see, the world has pretty much taken sides. Except the more neutral nations are sticking together and the more unneutral. And that's pretty much all for today's video. Please like and subscribe. Why should you subscribe? It's great for the channel. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Bye, guys.